I would like to present you a monitoring system which we use to oversee our clients' environments. Thanks to the monitoring system, we have a non-stop overview about the state and health of all of the managed networks, servers, computers and other devices. Besides that, it helps us to keep devices configuration in compliance with our standards and also serves as a dynamic documentation of the network's environments. The monitoring system is based on SolarWinds MSP RMM product, for which we have written new monitoring scripts based on our needs and our experience. The monitoring system composes from an agent, it is a small program installed on every monitor device and from a cloud web-based console. From the security perspective, the monitoring system is in one of the highest security tiers. So to access it, we use dedicated workstations and two-factor authentications. If you are interested in more details about the tier model and privilege of this workstation, just check my blog, there is an article written about it. Now we are logged on into the monitoring system console. I was thinking to demonstrate to you the monitoring system on a demo environment, but then I have decided that it's better to demonstrate it on our real production environment, as the value of the monitoring system will be more evident. However, to not to leak some sensitive information, I will blur some parts out. The left panel shows a list of our customers. The top panel currently shows a list of monitored servers. If there is any problem on a server, it is positioned at the top of the list and presented with a red icon. Optionally, you can get notified about problems by email or SMS. Now, I will focus on a server named SRVDC and show you what we monitor on the server. The server is a virtual server with Active Directory domain control role on it. The button panel shows all the checks on the server. Some checks are evaluated once a day. Those are the ones with the calendar icon and some checks are evaluated every 5 minutes. Those are the ones with the clock icon. Let's go through the checks. The first check supervises that there is an antivirus installed on the server with an up-to-date definition database. This check comes handy in case the antivirus license gets expired, antivirus gets broken during an upgrade process or someone just unintentionally uninstalled it from the server. The following checks are reading logs from the Windows event log and present you the important ones. It is a little bit tricky to tune it as Microsoft likes to generate tons of logs which are likely benign and can be safely ignored. But if you get this check tuned, it can help you to detect some problems which other checks will not detect. Next check is monitoring failed logons. It is a great indicator of malicious activity in your network. If someone tries a word list, brute force, password spraying or any other type of password guessing attack, you get notified. Page status check watches that page scan was successfully run on the server. I will speak about the internal page management later. Following checks are monitoring the load of the server. They are tuned not to fail under ordinary situations like a temporary heavy load during a server backup. Physical disk health check reads information from the operating system about the health of the physical disks. Check baseline server is our advanced check. It has several functions. Firstly, it reads info from a server, which is afterwards preceded by our information system. Secondly, it checks the configuration of a server against our configuration baselines. And also, it can repair most of the issues it found. Let me show you the check in more detail. As with the other checks, I can click on the blue text to get more information. The amount of checked values by this check is dynamic. The check firstly detects what kind of server it is and what roles it holds. Based on that information, it picks the right checks. For this server, it checks if the server has PowerShell version 2 or newer. There are no whole disks shared, nor the administration shares are available. 
although it tests that previous versions are enabled on all the shared folders. The check detected that the server is a domain controller. That is why it tested also the functional level of the forest and domain, presence of Active Directory recycle bin. It also checked that there are no GPOs containing passwords. If it would be a multiple domain controllers environment, it would also check the health of the DC sync. Also, because the server is a part of the domain environment, the check controls that non-service or scheduled task is run under domain admin rights. Check also the text that server holds a certification authority role. So check verified the remaining CA certificate validity. Then it checks some common things, like if the server has precise date and time, if proxy automatic detection is disabled, remote UAC is enabled, administrative shares are disabled and NTLM authentication outside the local network is blocked. As I have said before, the check is able to fix many of the issues, so below follows a log of changes the check has done. This check watches a free space on server's local and CSV disks. Check Power Profile watches if the server has correct performance profile configured. Wrongly configured Power Profile can cause applications to run slower than they could. Check Services monitors that all auto-start services are up and running. We have created this check because sometimes some services fail to start and we need to be notified. Check Smart is reading disk smart attributes and alert us in case the disk is going to fail. However, for the server it is inactive as the server is a virtual server and has no physical disk attached. Check SW takes care that server doesn't contain any unwanted or outdated software. Check user is another advanced dynamic check. It checks that server has complex password policy enforced there are no unused user accounts on the server. Because the server is a DC, it keeps an eye on all the domain accounts. We have created this check because our customers often forget to notify us that some employee is leaving the company and the account were staying active for months. Now, with this check, we get notified if some account is unused and we can proactively contact the customer. This check also monitors a membership of privileged domain groups as domain admins, enterprise admins, schema admins and similar. It is a security precaution because members of these groups have unlimited power over the network and it is a common backdoor for less experienced hackers. We in backup check watches that backup was run successfully. Two following checks are watching the configuration of Windows update and that Windows contains latest cumulative updates. It is a cross-check that the patch management of the monitoring system is working right. We use this monitoring system since 2013, so we know some of its weaknesses. Last check watches that the server has an active firewall. This was a common virtual server. Now I would like to show you a physical server. It is a server with Hyper-V role and it holds some checks for local infrastructure. There are simple ping checks, testing that all network devices are reachable. If some device fails to respond, we get notified. We also have a technology which periodically scans the customer's networks, detects unknown devices and supervises that there is corresponding check in monitoring system for every network infrastructure device. However, more on this may be in some other video. Following checks are keeping an eye on various license or warranty expiration dates and notifies us in advance. We could have kept this information in some calendar. However, we want to have all the information in one place, so we don't have to look into several places to know that all the customers' networks are fine. There is a check which monitors the health of the router, like the CPU load, memory usage and session count. Follows check monitoring the health of the server's hardware. It watches the overall health just as the health of the individual components.
It supports Dell, HP and Lenovo servers. We have a custom check for network attached storages. It monitors the overall health, including the health of the individual physical disks, disk free space and firmware versions. It also checks if the NAS configuration follows our configuration baseline. There are some checks for infrastructure switches. We also have detailed checks for UPS. We monitor their reachability, power status, load, remaining runtime and battery conditions. Check VMs is one of our newest checks. It watches that all of the VMs are running, their configuration, network reachability and state of the integration components. All the checks monitoring the network devices are also collecting info about the vendor, model number, serial number and firmware version. This information is then proceed by our internal information system which makes a dynamic documentation. So we know what hardware we have and if it's necessary to do an update or replacement. Those are servers. Now I will show you what we check on workstations. Firstly, I will switch onto a workstation view. There are other views as well, including custom filter and manager reports. However, let's speak about it another time. We have following checks for the workstations. Check for a valid antivirus. It's the same like on the servers. Check testing if there is enough free space on the local disk of the workstation. Check for a failed logon attempts. Same like on the servers. It helps us to detect attacker in the network. Big advantage of this check is that it has a minimum false positive alerts. There is a check watching the internal patch management. Check baseline workstation is an advanced check. It helps us to keep workstations configurations along with our baseline. It reads data which are then processed by our internal information system. Checks that workstation has system restore feature enabled. This has helped us many times to restore the system after failed updates or recover unintentionally deleted files. It is a little bit like a data backup. With the scheduled task, a recovery point is created every day. Various security checks follow. This check can fix most of the detected problems on its own. Check BSOD is monitoring that there were no BSODs on the workstations. It is quite common that laptops are crashing during the sleep or wake up process, mostly because of the buggy BIOS or Windows drivers. This check helps us to be notified about such cases. Check notified to reboot notifies users if the device hasn't been restarted for two weeks or longer. The reason is that OS patches require devices to reboot to finish the installation. In the current era of Ultrabooks, it is not uncommon to see a laptop not being restarted for a month. Follows a check monitoring health of the physical disks. It looks on smart table and predicts if disk is going to fail or SSD is being fried out. Next check is detecting unwanted or old software. Check for an UAC settings. Check to watch for unused local user accounts. A done done check for a presence of latest cumulative patch for Windows. And a check for an active firewall. Monitoring system with our checks helps us also while onboarding a new customers. We can deploy the monitoring agent across the whole custom environment in half an hour. Then we just go through all the failed checks. And we know if hardware is dirty, there is no outdated software, all devices have antivirus installed and firewall enabled, there are no weak passwords or unused accounts. It saves us a lot of time and helps us to have standardized environment. We are still improving all the checks I have shown you. If something gets broken without us noticing it, we just learn from it and make a check for it. So next time we are able to prevent it or to detect it as soon as the problem happens. Besides the monitoring functionality, the system also manages patch management for us. 
SolarWinds can update the operating system the same way as Windows Update does. But in extra, it can update a various third-party software as well. Once a day, in a specified time, the installed agent goes through the hardware and software inventory and check for missing updates. Then you go by hand over the missing updates and approve them for installation. Once the updates are approved for installation, they are installed on the devices. It is similar functionality like a Windows Server Update Services. But SolarWinds allows us to manage patch management for all our customers from the one console. In a tab called Patches, you can see what patches are installed on the device, which are missing, ignored or which are being installed. Besides that, the monitoring system can generate a summary report, which can be presented to a customer. Monitoring system helps us also with asset tracking. Monitoring system collects information about hardware, like a vendor, model, seller number, type of CPU, operating memory, hard drives, graphic cards, and so on. Similar information is collected about software as well. Sometimes the software inventory is a little bit messy because all the Windows updates and different versions of the software, but still it is handy. Thanks to this functionality, we don't need to maintain a static documentation, which is very impractical and not a popular work to do. Also, you can create reports, export them to PDF and mail them to the managers. Remote Background is a name for a function, which gives you a remote command prompt of a remote device, no matter where the device is located. It is very handy if you just want to do any modification or diagnostics without actually disturbing the user who is just working on the device. To get a remote command prompt, you just need to right click on the device and select remote background. For high security, you need to retype password you are using for logon into the monitoring system. And here you go. You can also upgrade this shell to be a PowerShell shell or control the running tasks and services from GUI. Another extra functionality of SolarWinds MSP RMM is online backup. It gives you a possibility to backup remote device data into the cloud. It supports local files, Samba shares, databases, virtual servers, and even the bare metal backup. For that functionality, you don't have to install additional software into the device. The backup functionality is provided by the monitoring agent, and everything is accessible from one console. Besides the monitoring system, we also have central consoles for Asset Antivirus Management, Unify Controller, Fortinet 40 Analyzer and TeamViewer. For all those tools, we have created best practices, custom policies and integration with our internal information system, which process and correlate all the collected data. Access to all these systems is then shared with our customers' internal IT departments and together we are trying to create the best IT environment which supports our customers' businesses.